This video is sponsored by I Put the Egg on the Sulaco. It was me, t shirt. Check it out at the viral store. Superman vs. Xenomorph. <laughs> Superman vs. Xenomorph. What? What a stupid battle. Well, if this is stupid, then Batman v Superman too. Obviously, for this idea to make sense, Superman has to be weakened somehow. And that's exactly what happened in the comics, of which there are actually many. So let's explore them. Superman vs. Aliens, originally titled Superman slash Aliens, is a three-issue limited crossover comic book series that was first published by Dark Horse Comics in 1995. Ah yes, the year of the crossover. Accompanying Dr. Cheryl Kimball, head of LexCorp's Space Division, on the investigation of an incoming probe as part of LexCorp's attempts to improve its public image, Clark is shocked to discover that the pod's transmissions are a Kryptonian distress call. Making contact with the pod, Superman receives a telepathic transmission of a city that survived the destruction of its planet and is now running out of resources. Taking a spaceship to investigate the city, which is located far from any sun, causing his powers to fade the longer he remains, Superman discovers a small group of unconscious survivors and sends them back to LexCorp's satellite and his ship. Further exploration puts him against an alien, but his depleted powers allow the creature to wound him before he's rescued by Kara, another survivor of the city, who explains that the aliens came from an abandoned freighter containing an alien queen that crashed on Argo years ago. Back on the LexCorp satellite, the chestbursters hatch from the hosts that Superman sent back, leaving Dr. Kimball determined to capture and analyze them, while Lewis Lane is forced to face an alien in the hangar, only just managing to force the alien into space by opening the airlock while she hides in the ship. Sounds familiar. As Kimball witnesses two of the remaining chestbursters hatch, Lewis torches the infants with a spray can and a match, but she and Kimball are forced together to escape the last full-grown alien as it begins to tear the satellite apart. As Superman and Kara attempt to escape, both of them are captured and impregnated with embryos, but this gives them an advantage since Superman's embryo is that of an alien queen, but the aliens won't risk harming him. As they escape, Superman learns that Kara is not from Krypton, but from Odeline, basically a race who grew to revere Kryptonians as their spiritual protectors, adopting much of their customs and language. Reaching the freighter that brought the aliens to Argo originally, the two discover escape pods and transporter booths, but the pod's launch mechanisms are jammed. The only way to launch them is to destroy the ship. While Superman preps the coordinates, Kara sets the core to overload before returning to the transporter booth. Unfortunately, crucial seconds are lost when Superman uses the booth to teleport the embryo out of her, with Kara being forced out of the booth by an alien attack moments before the ship is destroyed and the pod launched. Arriving back in Earth's solar system, Superman's powers are restored just in time to stop the chestburster from emerging, allowing him to crush it and regurgitate it before catching the falling satellite, Kimball subsequently killing the last alien. As Superman departs, he's left mourning the loss of Kara, the closest thing to a sister he might ever know, unaware that she made it to a pod before Argo's destruction and remains lost in space. Superman vs. Aliens was eventually followed by a sequel, Superman vs. Aliens 2, God War. Superman faces the eternal ferocity of aliens again in this explosive four-part series. Darkseid is bad enough, with his forces of parademons and loyal henchmen on Apocalypse. But when a ship carrying the Xenomorph brood crashes into his domain, will he finally find a key to creating a relentless, indestructible army? On a visit to New Genesis, Superman is welcomed by the new gods, including Orion and High Father. Warning predicts that a horror will soon visit New Genesis. Will the might of the Man of Steel, combined with scores of super-powered beings, be enough to stop Darkseid's new hordes? And how can we forget Superman and Batman vs. Aliens vs. Predator? Wanna add anything else? Maybe Terminator and Spider-Man in there? It's the battle you've been waiting for in a thrilling two-issue miniseries by Mark Schultz of Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. They're back. The relentless killing machines known as Aliens and the unstoppable race of hunters called Predators have returned to Earth. But saying they're back isn't quite accurate. Batman discovers that the two races, sealed away from human population, have been here all along. Can he and Superman get them off our world before they threaten the planet's existence? So that covers all the Superman vs. Aliens comics. I doubt I missed any, because those are the three I know of. Which one is your favorite? Which one haven't you read? Which one do you want to read? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, consider supporting me on Patreon. And if you want to donate but have no money, follow these steps. First, subscribe. 
then like the video, and then share it. Twitter, Facebook, whatever. This is so useful that it might as well be a $5 donation. If you really want to help, leave a comment too. YouTube loves engagement. Also, please follow me on Twitter. Oh, and make sure you click the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you later.